English math teacher who has passionately worked for decades to make education and maths more student centric. Her mother had to do two jobs so that she could educate her two daughters. Both girls understood their mother's sacrifice. Their mother wanted them to have a good education so that they can always be financially independent. Marit studied maths and science and graduated as maths teacher to a Finnish primary school. After working some years, she began to think about why maths is one of the most disliked subjects in the school. In most schools, mathematics is still taught in a traditional way. A teacher stands in front of the class and students repeat formulas from the board. This method is suited only for a small percentage of students, when most children find it boring and difficult. When working as a teacher in 90s, Marit Rosi noticed the students' lack of motivation in mathematics. Together with her colleagues, she started to develop new methods to engage students in the classroom. She wrote nine math textbooks. Students from Marit's school performed well above average in PISA mathematics score as well as in their national test. She got a 2006 Fulbright scholarship to New York. With her Fulbright fellow, Marit Rosie established Paths to Math Limited, a company and website for teaching and learning mathematics in three languages. Today, their company, Paths to Math, helps students and teachers to learn math in an effective, efficient and fun way. Hi, we are the sixth graders from Finland Turku Kahari School. Uh, we will tell you how we study maths and what we think about it. Uh, we made a research how students came to school. We went in the classrooms and collected data. Every group went in from the classroom and showed the results using bar graph or pie graph. Our homework was to ask our family uh, where and when they needed to calculate percents and how they need uh, monitored. My mother is a dentist. She needs percentage every day. My sister has used percentage in sales. She took part in the Global Teacher Prize competition and was among the top 10 finalists in 2016. Since then, she has been a keynote speaker and teacher training around the world. Good evening, everyone. Well, Teachers are one of the only humans in the world whose job is to give life to a life. They start with nothing and turn humans into something. In my mother tongue, teachers means guru. Guru means da me darkness of ignorance and ru meaning bring them into brightness. There is not a ballroom big enough on the planet that could honor all the teachers that have changed this world for the better those that are here tonight represent teachers globally and I fold my hands to thank every single one of you for dedicating your lives to making a change to this thing we call life. She has been to many countries like India, Tanzania, Turkey, Russia, Poland, China and Brazil. She engages her students in different outdoor activities and by the means of of those activities, she teaches difficult mathematics concepts easily. It also helps the students to retain the knowledge. The subject of mathematics is very important as it encourages logical reasoning, creative thinking, critical thinking and also develops problem-solving abilities. But most of the students are discouraged from taking the subject because they find it difficult and boring. But teachers like Marit are a boon to the world who are putting extraordinary efforts to make difficult subjects like maths interesting and fun. Hi, I'm Mari Trossi from Finland and I'm a passionate math teacher and I want to change the math education so that it is more interesting, meaningful and fun for the students. And why? Because I have noticed that students really enjoy of learning. And when they are enjoying learning, they feel it's meaningful for them, they also begin to love math. And this is like a very strange situation because all over the world it seems that math is not one of the most favorite subjects. 
But I think it's not the reason is not the math, it's the reason why it is taught. So this is my passionate. How to do it? You can go to look pathstomath.com. What is inspiring me? Of course, the students. They are so eager to learn new things. They are eager to learn math. If you give their learning environment so that it is interesting and fun for them. I remember many cases when the others thought that this child can't learn math. But one of them were shouting in the corridors, we didn't do math today. And actually we were doing it all the time. But it was not the traditional way. Or there was a boy who was very bad in the math. But when he had the possibility to construct the models learning by doing, he was asking after every lesson what we shall do next lesson. What is inspiring my career has been the children. They are the reason I, I love this subject and I continue. What are inspiring you? I think most of the people inspires when the when you remember something positive from the learning situation. And we can do math learning this way. It don't have to be all the time remembering, repeating formulas which are not connected to the children's life or the young student's life. So I think that's fascinating and inspiring me to know how they learn best. I want to send my warm greetings to Voice Asia News. Thank you.